Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, The Educators. And today I am going to tell you about structural organization in animals. The structural organization in animals starts from the smallest fundamental unit, the cell, and a group of cells that perform uh, similar functions forms tissues when tissues group together to perform specific function they form organs the animal tissues are divided into epithelial connective muscular and nervous tissues let us glimpse of each type of animal tissue when you talk about cells the first thing that should come to your mind as biology student is what kind of cell is it? It is a plant cell or animal cell. Both these different types of cells have basic differences and organs in animal cells are classified into two into different types uh, based on their functions, structures and some other factors. Epithelial tissue is one such animal tissue. Epithelia are animal tissues. These tissues shows the characteristics of animal cell here are the cells are eukaryotic with a nucleus and have membrane bound organelles a cell wall is absent in animal cells this lake of cell wall gives the animal cells flexibility the cells of the tissues can take up different shapes to become specialized and perform specific functions Epithelial tissue is called as the epithelium. The tissue generally has a free surface the, and faces the body fluid inside or outside environment. Epithelial tissue largely are converting, covering tissues or tissues that line the inner inlining of organs in the body. The in like intracular matrix is very less as the cells are compactly packed. Number two is connective tissue. As the name suggested, a connective tissue in animals act uh, as a connecting medium with some specialized function. In animals, the connective tissue is very complex, has a viral role to play. They provide internal supports as well as give and ma maintain from the body. Let us learn about some more connective tissues. The connective tissue can be classified into two, three categories. They are the loose connective tissues, dense connective tissue, and specialized connective tissues. Let us take a look. Uh, loose connective tissue are the areolar tissue and the post tissue are classified under the loose connective tissue. This tissue has cells and fibers that are loosely arranged in the simplified ground substance. Uh, the areolar tissue has fibrous extracular uh, molecules and a number of different type of cells. These include ground substance, the matrix fibrolus blast mast cell, and my macrophage. The areolar tissue is a loose connective tissue that can be seen between the skin and muscles in the bone marrow as well as around the blood vessels and nerves. The outer tissue is a loose connective tissue that can be seen between the skin and muscle in the bone marrow as well as around the blood vessels and nerves. These tissues fill the space between the different organs and connects the skin to the underlying muscles and therefore it provides support to the internal organs as well as help in the repair of tissues. The adipose tissue is also loose connective tissue that is found beneath the skin cells or adipose tissues to fats. It is in these cells that a flat is stored in the form of flat uh, fat gabulous. Due to the storage of fat, the uh, adipose tissue acts as an insulator. The, in the dense connective tissue, the fiber and fibrillus are compactly packed. The dense connective tissue can be further classified into dense regular and dense classified irregular connective tissue depending on the irregularity or regularity of the collagen fiber. The collagen fiber are presented in the rows in between many parallel bundles of fibers in dense regular tissues. Tendons and the ligam fall, fall under this tissue category. Now muscular tissue. Uh, muscle tissue is a tissue that helps in the connect contraction of muscle. Muscle tissue gives muscle 
the ability to contract by applying forces to other body parts. Movement is one of the properties of the muscle tissues. This specialized tissue contains muscle cells, fibers, which are connected in the fibers and sheets. Muscle, muscle tissue are located between two bones and the contraction per property of muscle tissue helps both bones to move smoothly. The muscle tissue is various parts of the body that can help to move the muscles tissue is generally attached to the bones and thus help in movement muscle cells are called micro last but not least neural tissue did you know there are approximately 100 billion nerves in the human brain the brain and the spinal cord are composed of this neural tissue neural tissue is also called as a nervous tissue this is a specialized kind of tissue in animals that puts them in the higher order of classification in last did you know that frogs do not drink water this is because they absorb water through their skins that's all Allah Hafiz. Take care. Bye-bye.